Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to cover the new examination metric called cell non-orthogonality. So what is cell non-orthogonality? Well, it's equivalent to the non-orthogonality metric computed by OpenFoam when you run check mesh. And what that means is that you can actually run this within pointwise without having to export your grid, saving you time in your analysis process. And the way that it's computed is on a per face basis. We look at the angular deviation between a vector connecting two adjacent cell centroids and their shared face normal vector, as you see here on the screen. So we've got this vector D in blue, which is the vector connecting two adjacent cell centroids and this face normal vector for the shared face and theta represents the angular deviation between these two, and that is considered the cell non-orthogonality, and that's the value that's reported. Now this is done on a per face basis for a cell, and the maximum value of this measure for all the faces of a given cell is reported for that cell. So let's go ahead and open up pointwise and show you how this is computed. So here we are in pointwise, we're looking at two meshes on the left, we have a anisotropic tetrahedral mesh generated by T-Rex. And on the right, we actually have the same mesh. However, those right angle tetrahedra have been combined into prism elements. And we're examining cell non-orthogonality where red values are higher values of cell non-orthogonality and blue are lower values. And what you can clearly see is that the right angle tetrahedra have a much higher non-orthogonality value than the combined prism elements. And that's because again, the the vector connecting the two cell centroids and the face normal vector, that angular deviation is much higher for right angle tetrahedra than it is for nearly orthogonal prismatic elements. And that's how you can compute and visualize cell non-orthogonality in pointwise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or feel free to connect with us on Twitter, which will be linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.